I'm such an awesome guy, I make so many videos. Brum. Hello there, Price of Reason here with a special report. As most of you already know by now, Sony's latest Marvel movie, Madam Web, has turned out to be, as expected, a giant flop for Sony, earning a measly $26 million at the US box office during its extended six-day opening weekend, while somehow only mustering an additional $25 million from the overseas box office. Now, for some lower budget movies, if let's say they cost just a few million dollars to make, earning a $51 million box office haul during their first six days may not be considered a failure at all, but when a movie costs a minimum of $80 million to make and in addition to that has a separate $40 million budget for marketing costs, the studio has to make at least two and a half times that amount just to break even. And the odds of Sony making over $300 million at the box office on this stinker are highly unlikely. In reality, with such poor reception from critics and audiences amid such a disastrous opening, this movie will likely be a major loss for Sony. In addition, a flop of this magnitude is so embarrassing that it's also negatively affecting the people involved in the movie itself, such as director S.J. Clarkson and lead actress Dakota Johnson, who actually fired her agent when she saw the first trailer for Madam Web because at that moment she had finally realized how awful the movie had turned out and how it could potentially hurt her career moving forward. And while there's been less criticism aimed at Madam Web's supporting cast member Sidney Sweeney, a 26-year-old actress who's generally well-liked by both men and women, it's also clear that this movie isn't exactly going to look good on her resume either, which is probably especially frustrating for her, given Sweeney's marketability, which means she could have easily been a draw for a comic book movie, similarly to how Scarlett Johansson was a draw for years in the MCU. But instead, Sony and S.J. Clarkson wanted Sweeney to look like an unappealing, shabby, 16-year-old girl in the movie, which was absolutely not playing to her strengths at all. And it really highlights the disconnect these days between studios and what their audiences actually want to see. Until until 2016, when Hollywood gradually became overly political, divisive, man-hating, and desperately trying to combat the male gaze, comic book movies used to be first and foremost targeted towards a male demographic, in the same way that romantic comedies were, and still are, geared more towards women. That's not to say that women won't see or accompany men to see a comic book movie, or a man won't accompany a woman to see a romantic comedy, but as a studio, you always have to recognize who your target audience is, and what they're looking for in a movie. Now, Disney has completely lost sight of that over the past several years, but since it's more rare for Sony to make such a mistake, it's a bit more surprising. And this past weekend, I think that Sydney Sweeney herself was able to teach Sony a lesson when she attended the 2024 People's Choice Awards, a fluffy awards show that isn't taken all that seriously but is still swarming with press. Now, usually an actress that is currently starring in a monumental flop like Madame Webb could potentially get asked pesky questions about it from reporters, but rather than fielding questions or making statements about it, Sweeney came up with a perfect solution. She simply put on the most feminine dress she could find and walked the red carpet looking the polar opposite of how she looks in the Madame Web movie, presenting herself in a way that she had considered appealing. Now as simple as that sounds, I actually think that it was a rather brilliant move on her end. As Don Draper used to say on the show Mad Men, when you don't like what's being said about you, change the conversation. So instead of people asking, why is Sidney Sweeney appearing in a colossal box office flop? Now people are asking, why did Sony want Sidney Sweeney to look dumpy in the Madame Web movie when she doesn't look that way in real life? And by doing this, Sweeney accomplished what she needed to without saying a word, just going out there and being herself. And the best part of it all is how she was greeted by a bunch of mostly male photographers who seemed very enthusiastic about her attire. I couldn't hear anybody mentioning any box office flops as she greeted the press. In fact, Sweeney had them eating out of the palm of her hand and yes, she has successfully changed the conversation and re reframed the narrative of her appearance within a box office failure. And this just goes to show you that sometimes actresses and actors are actually capable of understanding their potential audiences better than most studios do. And at the end of the day, it also demonstrates what independent reporters like myself have been saying for years, that with all of Hollywood's seemingly sophisticated, politically correct agenda-driven workarounds, most people have not changed their basic human instincts. Both men and women like to go to movies to see glamorous and appealing people, and trying to shove a bunch of divisive ideologies down the throat of potential customers is a counterproductive business strategy that will continue to lose money time and time again, especially in more mainstream escapist 
popcorn movies. So if studios want to actually make money, they should not only hire the right people for the project, they should also then utilize them to their full potential. And I know some would argue that even a more appealing Sweeney wouldn't have saved a movie like Madame Web, but I guarantee you that if the movie had correctly capitalized on Sweeney's presence, both in the writing of her character and the marketing of the movie, they would have made more money. Even if, let's say, the movie was just mediocre. Just look at the 2016 movie Suicide Squad, which was pretty bad, but it was still very profitable, mainly because of how Margot Robbie was presented in the trailers. It was this type of appeal that lured audiences to the movie, regardless of its quality. I mean, none of what I'm saying excuses the studio for making such a bad movie like Madame Web, but if you're not going to even do the minimum to cater to your potential customer base, don't expect any goodwill from them at the box office. And in the hands of even slightly more competent people with actual pedigree, this movie could have at least broken even, if nothing else. And interestingly, it appears that Sony is actually starting to get the message, as it's just been reported that they fired all of the writers on Silk, an upcoming female Spider-Man project they're currently producing for Amazon. Because apparently, they now want to target a male audience instead. But honestly, if they really want to bring back male audiences, I think they should just scrap this entire female Spider-Man project altogether because I don't think it's what men are looking to see more of now anyways. I mean, if you're itching for more female-centric Spider-Man projects from Sony, let me know in the comments. And if you're new to this channel, please make sure to like, subscribe, and get notifications. Thanks for watching, my friends. Thank you, and good day. I am such an awesome guy. I make so many videos. Brum.